baby. Boom. This is your life. Wake up and get in it. It's your morning marijuana motivation time. I'm your hostess with the most is Marky Saint. This is Saint's Addiction. And today I'm pumped up because it's about accountability. It's one of my favorite words, but that's what sunk into me this uh, last weekend is how many people are not accountable for their actions. They want to pretend like they can do whatever the fuck they want and there will be no repercussions. But here comes the reaper. Here comes the balance. Here comes the other side of the yin and yang. Your boy Marky Saint has been so accountable for his life that I've turned it into a success. It's all I ever wanted out of my life. I just wanted to be successful. I wanted it to be smooth. I didn't want abuse. I didn't want people yelling. I didn't want a bunch of drama and that had to do with me, my accountability. If it's meant to be, it's up to me. And that came from my boy Richard Bajan before he died, one of my business mentors and I love him for it because it makes me in control of my life. It doesn't leave someone else in control of my life. It doesn't leave some other situations in control of my life. I'm in control of my life. Now, Mother Nature might come around and distract us and come and rain on us, but it's also up to us where we live, right? The people we choose to date and the way we choose to react to situations. So let's get into this. This last weekend, I had somebody trying to get crazy over their dog, right? They left their dog out there to attack other dogs. Instead of being responsible for their dog, they acted like their dog. He's like, you want to see pit bull? I'll be a pit bull. It's like, no wonder why your fucking dog's a piece of shit is because you're a piece of shit. You're the piece of shit that decided that you love your dog so much that you love him more than attacking the other dogs. So I love my dog. Fine. Love your dog. But if your dog attacks another dog, then you are responsible for your dog. You're also responsible for your dishes, okay? For those that don't know, I just posted that recently, but there are no gender roles for dishes. If you eat, you clean. That's just how I grew up. If you make a mess, you clean a mess. It's not rocket science. It's part of accountability. You are in control of yourself. You're in control of the friends that you have too. If you want to choose assholes to be around, guess what? Assholes is what people think you're going to be. This is called guilty by association. It's another lesson, and I'll save that for another morning marijuana motivation. But this is Monday. This is you in control of your life. This is you getting to choose what you want to do with your life. That's right. You get to choose what you want to do. Now, I'm a printer, but I didn't set out to be a printer. No, ma'am. I decided I wanted to be next to all the businesses. That's right. It was a mental choice. I said, I like creativity. What can I do where I can create my own art, make my own art, and make other people's own art? But I'm I found my own dream. What's your dream? What are you going to do with your day when you wake up and do it day day in, day out, and not have to look on somebody else to do it for you? No, bitch. It's your life. You decide yours. That's why my favorite Kanye West lyrics of all time is he just said, this is my life, homie. You decide yours. And you get to decide it every day. You get to choose by the decisions you make to keep your habits. If you want to keep smoking cigarettes, you ain't going to get to kiss me no more. I know that's for a fact. If you decide that I'm entitled, I'm an asshole, I smoke cigarettes and I make everybody else smell it around me. I'm such a asshole. Yeah, you can see your teeth falling out of your head. Well, your asshole just decided to have her early heart attacks, people not liking you, and you smelling like shit. So you can stay entitled right? You can keep your dog, right? But the moment it affects somebody else is the moment you become the asshole. It's the moment where everyone else sees who you really are. So when you show somebody who you really are, trust them, right? Trust them. Thank you for showing me who you really are. Now, don't get it twisted. This is Saint Addiction. We all have the dichotomy of the black and white inside of us. We all have the chance to be evil as, as, as much as we have the chance to be good. But I believe that we have the chance to actually be saintly, right? I believe that we can tend to go further past the black side into the white side, into the light side, okay? Not the darkness, but the light that's inside of us. Let me touch my heart. We can choose to be that way. We can choose not to be like our parents arguing over the kitchen table. We can choose to go put our dogs up so the other dogs are safe. We can choose not to hit other people, and that's your boy Marky Saint. Yesterday, I was pumped up. I said, catch these hands. I actually had to smack somebody for being racist and he didn't like it very much and I was like I didn't like what you were saying very much either so without me having to have to regulate on people and control situations I went and found a new situation 
I don't have to be around your fucking drum circle. There's a really cool other drum circle right down here playing better music without motherfuckers yelling at each other. I don't have to worry about your life because I'm too busy worried about mine. I don't have to scroll and be jealous because I'm too busy building my own dreams. I don't have to do any of that stuff because I'm accountable for what I have to come through through my own life. So get busy living. Get busy living your own life. Don't be so busy about worried about other people's lives and what they're doing and what they're going to say and what they're going to do. I'm busy about what I'm going to do. Not what they're going to do and I have to react. No, I'm going to be proactive in my life and say this is what I want now. This is what I want to do with my life. I want to speak about these subjects for the rest of my life. Just like when I was out at the drum circle, I told my friend, weren't we out here five years ago? And I said, I'm still going to talk about these subjects forever. And I'm on acid. And now I'm on acid again. And we're still talking about those subjects again. Boom, baby. That's right. I chose this life. And now it's mine. My backyard, my progress, my success. I want you to have it too, but you got to choose it for you. And that's the mic drop. Choose it for yourself. It's your morning marijuana motivation. On oh, my heart from the start, your boy Mark the Saint. Go get some. Grab your life. Carpe diem. Seize the day. And don't let that bitch go till she gives you what you want. That's your morning marijuana motivation. Peace and love. And as always, Chica Thon. If you got anything out of this, go to Saint's Addiction. Go like it up on YouTube. Go like And let us finish it. Peace.